the hot and dusty plateau of Isan is Thailand's poorest region. The 19 provinces located in the northeast of the country are home to 22 million people. Like many villages in Isan, Bantabal is a community that revolves around farming and fishing. But the harvests are not always plentiful and the catch is not always reliable. Consequently, most of the people of Bantabal are poor and in debt. The average income of its 350 families is just over $1,000 a year. But Bantabal has a special reputation for its tasty, fermented and sour fish. Selling fish is an enterprise run chiefly by the women of Bantabal, who also have a unique formula for pickled fish. We have our own special recipe. We got it from our ancestors. The taste of our pickled fish is clean, delicious and not salty. We formed a group in 1998 to make and sell the pickled fish, and we each have a role to play. We cooperate with each other. Pickled fish from Bantabal have long been sought after as a delicacy around the province of Nakhon Phanom. But they were a delicacy largely unknown beyond the province because the fish are perishable and the packaging rudimentary. We put our pickled fish in bags and wrapped them with a rubber band. But before long, there was an unpleasant odor in our refrigerators and the bags would become inflated. We could not keep them for more than a week. The people of Bantabal believed that if they could find a better way to package their pickled fish, they could preserve them longer and sell them in new markets all around the northeast and beyond. And so they asked for help. We got help from many sources. The provincial government, the fisheries department, and Konkan University assisted us with food quality and safety. And our problems with packaging were solved with support from the FAO. The FAO provided the women with two machines to package the fish in vacuum-sealed bags, along with training. We can store our fish longer thanks to the vacuum sealer. We can keep them for months and sell them in places further away. Packaging our fish and making it look very professional has really helped us improve our business. Now we sell them everywhere, at festivals in Udon Thani, Khon Gan, Muktahan and Sisaket provinces. We also sell our fish in Bangkok. We could even export abroad. The woman also received marketing advice and endorsement from a Thai government initiative that promotes locally made original products. These days, we have to order fish from other provinces to make our pickled fish because the catch from our river can no longer meet the demand. The women have seen profits jump by over 30 percent, bringing in additional $5,000 a year. And it all happened because of collaboration between the villagers, the government, and a concerned international agency. This machine is because of the FAO. They gave it to us and also the bags for packaging. They gave us full support. We would really like to express our gratitude to the FAO.